Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make cathedral window jelly dessert. For the jelly, I've got seven flavors in here, but you don't need to have seven flavors. Whatever flavor that you can find, as long as you have seven um, boxes, 85 grams each. So, I've put them in a container where they're gonna set. I'm gonna add. Um, one cup of hot boiling water you can just follow the instructions from the packaging or if you want it firmer you can add a little bit less cold water so as for me I'm adding um, 100 ml of cold water instead of 200 ml of cold water which i'm doing here now we're just gonna let this cool down and then place it in the fridge to set for the creamy jelly we need 15 teaspoon of unflavored gelatin one third cup of granulated sugar one can or 395 grams of condensed milk one cup of cream any cream will do one can of evaporated milk three cups of water we also need one teaspoon of vanilla and half a cup of pineapple juice so to begin in a pot we're just gonna um put the water and let it boil once it starts boiling we can add the evaporated milk followed by the condensed milk then the cream I'm using whipping cream but you can use all-purpose cream so give it a mix add the sugar my um induction cooker is still on at the moment but it's on milk setting now i'm slowly adding the um unflavored gelatin if it clumps up that's fine just continue whisking and then the gelatin will eventually dissolve just be patient because this is a lot of gelatin again it's 15 teaspoon as you can see here there's um some lumps of gelatin but i'm just gonna continue whisking until it is dissolved now i will add one teaspoon of vanilla and finally i'm gonna add the pineapple juice And now we're just gonna um, set this aside, let it cool down completely while we're waiting for the jelly to set. So after about two to three hours, the jelly is set. We're ready to cut this into cubes. Not too big and not too small. Do the same procedure to the rest of the um, flavored gelatin. I will write in the description box the, the list of ingredients that you're gonna need. So if you didn't catch it here, don't worry, it's gonna be down below. So now I'm just gonna strain the um, creamy jelly. It has cooled down completely. So I've got a bad pan in here or you could use any molder that you have. It doesn't have to be bad pan. So I'm just going to add the different flavored jelly in here. Halfway only. Just mixing the flavors so it's random. And then I'm going to add the creamy jelly. Since my creamy 
has cooled down and my um, flavor gelatins are cold you'll notice here that um, this um, cathedral window will start to set now I'm adding more of the flavor gelatin filling the spots we just don't want to put all the um, flavor gelatin and then put the um, creamy gelatin all in one go so it's evenly the distributed now I'm gonna add the creamy jelly again so this recipe makes a big batch so um, you're gonna use other containers so now we're just gonna let this set completely in the fridge for about four hours or preferably overnight so I'm using this silicone pan or silicone molder for individual cathedral window same procedure but this one we're only gonna put the creamy jelly in one go i also have a takeaway container here and this is the next day i'm ready to take out the um cathedral window jelly as you can see it's well set this is quite firm you're gonna enjoy the texture and the consistency of the um, jelly to take the cathedral window out of the band pan all you need to do is push it down and then pull it away Now you're gonna tilt it sideways to let the air in so it comes out of the pan easily. Don't forget the middle. And then this is what the cathedral window looks like. This is not overly sweet. The flavor is just right. And this is our finished product. I hope you give them a try. Again, if you can find seven flavors of jelly, you can use two strawberries, two orange. It's up to you as long as you've got seven boxes of gelatin. And this is what it looks like when you cut the the cathedral window so you can see the flavors and the colors blend well i hope you give this a try again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye